Hey guys, it's Richie. Today I'm on my way to meet Chad from CB Media, our friend Manu, and Ian from Tempest TV to go test out Chad's new Longtail Riverboat experience. We're heading about two hours outside of Bangkok near the Dom Nun Saduak floating market, and we're going to a racing Longtail boat shop. Uh, we're gonna go look around there, then we're gonna head down the canal in the boat, do some poles, and then we're gonna go into the floating market, take a look around there, come out, do a few poles, and then head back to the shop. So I'm gonna go meet those guys and then head to the shop. Okay, we're over here in the parts area of the shop. There's just piles of parts everywhere. Like, look at all of this. Just piles of turbos and connecting rods. We got transmissions over here. It's like starter motors, alternators. We got a bunch of four JJs, because that's like the primary engine that they use in these boats. I'm not sure what these engines are. Maybe some, oh, this is a Nissan engine, BD25. And over here, they got their lathe set up. And there's like a little uh, arc welder. Man, there's so much stuff to look at. So you got this big four jaw chuck on this guy. It's like they've been machining some plastic. And then we have this one, also a massive four jaw chuck, but they're holding a, a three jaw. I guess you would do, do that so you can uh, take this, this one off of a different machine and you can dial in the concentricity with it. Or they didn't have the right uh, adapter to actually put this on and then it's quicker to do it this way and they have their engine hoist here which is really awesome how they rigged it up so we have an i-beam here and it's on a roller to this i-beam that is supported over there so they can swing this across the whole area and then the, the carriage right here goes back and forth that's pretty awesome I haven't seen a gantry crane set up like that before. What else do we have? There's a whole basket full of alternators. There's like the alternator shelf. It's like a controlled chaos how they have things organized. So we have shelves and shelves of turbos. Oh, this floor's crazy. And they have all these turbos over here. And pistons, whole stacks of connecting rods. Check out this engine. Look how big this turbo is. Like there's, there's my hand right there. Like, that's crazy. This is probably like a four or 500 horsepower engine. Like look at this, they have a whole stack of gears. And this looks like it's the same gear. Timing gears. They got a pretty good hydraulic press. What is this, 30 ton? And they've got a, a tubing bender over here, like a mandrel bender. They probably do up a lot of the exhaust and stuff with that. Get all these exhaust pipes. And then they got their milling machine over here. They were just doing a head on it, like flattening out a, a cylinder head. Here's the engine they're working on. And I like how they have their their tools organized on the on all these pegs. All these head gaskets over here. They have another whole rack of head gaskets. Oh, Kotelik cop. Got a propeller right here. Cool little water to air intercooler. Look at us with uh, official safety equipment. Welcome to Thailand. Yeah. Safety fourth now. We have upgraded. We went from safety <laughs> fifth to safety fourth. Good job, Thailand. It is officially party time. <laughs> we got Manu back there and Ian. And Chad sitting up front. The thing is, I know what I've gotten myself into. I've done this a couple times. And every time I get off, Holy the shit. Road, I say I will never do that again because it is literally there we go. absolutely terrifying. But yet 
So after doing that first test run, we had to pass through the entrance area of the Dom Nun Saduak floating market. It's a no-wake zone that usually has a lot of small boats paddling around and tourists. We'll do another pull after we get into a clear part of the canal again shortly. Got a bunch of tourists eating over here. <laughs> How are you guys doing back there? Good. So awesome. <laughs> well, here we go. with the other one coming right at us. <laughs> up here dead <laughs> facing the other way i don't know which way <laughs> is more terrifying bro because it's like you can't see what's happening like oh, man. That <laughs> Dude, that was insane. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Jesus. I'm not worried about my glasses flying off. I'm worried about my face being ripped off. Yeah, my beard was flapping so hard. Yeah. Going oh. again. Chat Chai just looked at me and he went. I don't know what that means. Oh fuck. Insane. Bro, I almost oh, ended up in your I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ricky almost that was crazy. From me and you didn't even have to buy me a lady drink. It's a little bumpy over here. <laughs> like these little ones. Yeah, riding on those? Yeah. Bro, they suck to ride on. Because they're like, uh, what? One's like a little two-stroke two-cylinder. Yeah. Oh shit, look at these clouds. So right now we're at the Damnun Sabduak floating market. It's like one of the most famous floating markets in Thailand. <laughs> I think all the oh, shops are closing. Me too! Oh, snake! Big snake! Snake! Thankfully, it is currently midweek and the low season here in Thailand, so the floating market isn't currently ran. But if you come here like December, January, especially on the weekend, this is literally the best time to go to the floating market. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. 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 It's <laughs> the sign back there said to do 20 Ks, but we were doing 60 <laughs> for, for no wake zone. <laughs> That was a good pull, starting at 55 Ks. I know. <laughs> I didn't even know there were speed limits on the canals. Yeah, it must be like a short no wake zone because there's a sign right there too. Man, this is so crazy riding this boat. Right next to people's houses, down the canals, <laughs> through wake zones, and it's always sliding around. Wow, we made it back just in time for it to start raining. There's all those black clouds out there. Oh man, that was intense. I've never experienced a boat that was so fast. It was like terrifying at times, but holy shit. What a rush. <laughs> I would definitely recommend coming and doing this if you want to try something really fast. So I just got back from riding the river boat with Chad. We did about eight runs, I think, maybe 10. Having that many adrenaline rushes in one day is exhausting. 
Uh, there's also the element of me grabbing on the side of the boat, trying to hold on. My hand is sore now. <laughs> But what an awesome experience. I really have to thank Chad for letting me be his test subject for this. I highly recommend doing this experience. Like, it's so cool. Uh, in the future, it'll be two runs and going through the market. So it won't be like what we did today because we were filming and we need different angles on everything. And we were doing it to try and find things to improve. So there will be more cushions to sit on, grab handles that will clamp on that'll make it easier to hold on to the boat, probably no handheld cameras just so you can hold on better, chest mounts will probably be fine, maybe not head mounts because they might fly off. You might be able to clamp on a camera if you have one. For other improvements that one I suggested was to get custom CB Media branded uh, life jackets or just at least life jackets that are not so bulky like the ones that we had, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. But other than that, what an incredible experience. The boat is so fast and it feels like nothing else I've ever done. When you're, when you're at speed, the boat just moves all over the place and I was completely not expecting that. And there are some, few terrifying moments. I mean, when it is skating around and you weren't expecting it, that was a bit terrifying, but also when there was boat traffic, there was one coming at us, that was a little bit scary, but Chat Chai, the, the driver, or skipper? I don't know. Chat Chai was really good at it, uh, but he's like a professional. Other people hire him to race their boats. So we were in good hands and you will be too. So there will be a, a hot Thai girl that will pick you up in a van here in Bangkok and then take you out to where the shop is and you guys will get the boat over there, do a couple runs, go to the market and then come back. But man, it, it'll be totally worth it. Just one or two runs was like crazy and then we kept doing more and more because we had to film and it's, it just gets exhausting. So I don't know if you want more than like a couple anyway, but I highly recommend it. Like it was so fun. Uh, I will have information in the description below so you can make a booking. Just come to Thailand, do this riverboat experience and have fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.